Well, friends, at the end of the day, we are coming to the close of uh, this series, which is uh, several episodes strong. In the series, we've been discussing five ways of breaking impossibility barriers in your dreams and in your plans. You know how it is. You know that we live in a world of gravity. We know You know that we live in a world that is full of opposition. You know that your dreams are valid, but you also know that there are very many obstacles and at times even impossibilities. That your dreams might not happen unless you find a way of circumnavigating either real impossibilities or illusionary impossibilities or seeming impossibilities. And I've been looking at some of the ways, some of the five ways you can be able to do this in the episodes. And today is the very last one that we are ending on this note. And I'm going to give you one nugget and then we'll call it a day. Tomorrow we begin a new series. Stay tuned. Welcome to the Life Signatures Podcast with Lawrence Namale. Lawrence is a life coach, author, and keynote speaker who loves to tackle different topics on purpose, productivity, and resilience. His mission in life is to awaken all your boundless possibilities available in you. Life Signatures Podcast is dedicated to bring to reality every single person who knows that deep down in their gut, there's got to be more to life than this. And now, here is your host, Lawrence Namale. Life Signatures episodes are brought to you by AfricanBooks.com, which is an online ebook platform that seeks to broadcast the African Christian voice to the world. As such, they have become a hub for African content, connecting African writers and publishers with a global reading audience. Publishing your books on their site is free and easy, with authors having full control over their content and the price they choose to sell at it. I was personally blown away by the concept that AfricanBooks.com is coming up with. Things like... No content from their site or their app is going to be run on laptops so that people can easily copy. In other words, your content as a writer is restricted from digital multiplication or digital copying. So you remain intact with your information. Another concept that I got so blown away with was the fact that in some time to come, in due course, AfricanBooks.com will be starting to announce African Writer of the Year. In other words, there will be competitions in all African countries to figure out who is the best published author. And I also fell in love with the fact that countries can actually compete against each other. We can have African authors going at it after each other. And your book as an author will be reviewed and have some stars and recommended upon that particular platform. The thing is that it's an answer to Amazon.com. You know, with Amazon, what happens? You've got to have an account in the Americas or whatever, or in Europe before you can get paid as an author. But here, the local currency is in play and the local means of getting paid are in play. So to get started, go to AfricanBooks.com as an author or as a publisher and even as a reader if you wanted to read your African favorite authors. Enjoy. One, two, three, four, five. Today is the fifth day or the fifth point we're going to cover today, which is about five ways of breaking the impossibility barriers in your dreams and in your plans. Number one. This is a recap. Number one, do not strategize too soon. Every time you start wondering how is this going to happen, 
you kill the dream before it matures you abort the idea so don't strategize too soon dream baby dream and let it be concretized in your spirit first before you can go into the strategy number two practice detachment don't be involved with it especially with the impossibility it is impossible probably for you to have one billion dollars but someone else in this world it is lose change what is your part your part is to be detached from that impossibility and to be attached to what you can be able to do right now what are you looking for you're looking for motion you're looking for momentum because even if you are to find help nobody is going to help what is just a concept or an idea or a thought or a dream in your head it's gonna be on the ground so you put it on the ground and detach yourself from the impossibilities and let it roll Number three, we say that you've got to spread it out. In other words, don't dream and strategize and do everything all at once. Don't attack this thing at once. Break it down into chunkable, manageable pieces and eat off one piece at a time. Every time we find that we have impossibilities that we are facing, for the most part it is because we want to do everything at once. Every time you find yourself you're so angry, right and you feel like there's so much to do in the day it is because you've not chunked down the things that have got to be done probably there's something that should be done by you other should be done by somebody else probably there's something should be done today other should be done next year or next month but you are stressed with all of them today so spread it out number four we said yesterday that realize it is work dreaming is work it is not something that is just happy go lucky you know you just uh, getting it easy done easy it's intentional it is laborious it is involving it is so tasking it is deep work the last time you dreamt you know exactly what i'm talking about that sometimes you're starting with a blank sheet of paper or sometimes you're starting with a problem it's staring at you. How am I going to fix this? Edison, how am I going to make a light bulb? I don't even know it's called a bulb at the end of the day. But how am I going to make this light? And all these inventors, what do they do? They realize this is work. It is not a joke. It's not fun. Of course, there is fun part of dreaming and uh, vision, uh, visualizing and uh, conceptualizing things. But the work itself the mind work is much more than the physical work that you can be able to do so realize that this is work but today even as we're coming to a close of these episodes what are we saying the fifth way in which you can break the impossibility barriers in your dreams and in your purpose pursuit before i can even talk about that let me say this these five are not the only ways they are not the only arsenals you can be able to use against the dream impossibility barriers there could be much more things like getting a mentor things like getting a masterminding team which things i've already talked about in very many other series in this episode there are very many other arsenals you can be able to deploy the most i was doing in this series was to focus you on where you are concerned you as an individual sometimes we kill our dreams ourselves we don't need someone to shoot them down and therefore i was addressing ourselves that's why i said that the first thing you've got to do you as a person don't strategize too soon it's up it's up to you second thing that you have to do as a person is to detach yourself that thing that you have to do you as a person is to spread it out the fourth thing that you've got to do as a person is to realize that this is a lot of work today number five you need to practice patience uh, i can i can scamp here for like a month because let me tell you the biggest deterrent to the realization of dreams is impatience in fact we've done a series about this some time back the biggest deterrent to dreams being fulfilled i tell you it is impatience some of you have very good godly wonderful potent ideas and you're already running with them but the fact that you're not getting paid out of them the fact that you're not seeing at the end of the day you're not seeing the light at the end of the tunnel you give up you quit and you walk away and then you're gonna come back maybe two two years later five years later and you realize if i could have just held on unto it for three more years 
I will be very very far and guess what you normally do you normally go back and you get started meanwhile there was this that intermittent time of three years two years five years that you benched your dream you didn't go on with it because you thought it is not working it is not seasoning people are not understanding it. let me tell you people will not understand your dreams they are not supposed to understand your dreams very few people are called to understand maybe just one person or two people are called to understand the dream that you're pursuing not the whole wide world even in adoption of things that are already working you have the distortion curve you 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 know that that bell curve that says that they are first of all they are early adopters and then there's the laggers the late majorities and and, and so on the the believers and then the early adopters you know all, all that stuff not everyone is going to come on board on day one so don't be impatient as that some dreams worth their salt will take ages literally decades some some of them to materialize they will take a lot of time it's not like a bean seed that matures in two weeks or three weeks or something. It's not like a mushroom that grows in a day. A dream is something that takes time to gestate. It takes time to mature. It takes time to grow. It takes time to start flowering. It takes time to start reproducing. So you've got to be patient. I mean, you've got to be seriously patient with this. Don't expect this dream to, rea- to be realized the same way you're realizing a job. You get a job and you get paid at the end of 30 days that's not it sometimes you get paid at the end of the month i mean at the end of the week a dream is totally different time is one of the greatest pillars we have for the fruition of our dreams and at times people download a massive dream and they just want it done in and perfected in the same year we are living in a world that is so impatient you're shouting at a micro microwave to hurry up right you have a computer to do calculations and you're <laughs> you guy you can be able to move from one town to another and you can eat lunch breakfast and supper in different towns but we are the most impatient generation since adam when it comes to dreams we cannot apply our impatience we cannot even throw at you think you can going you're going to throw tech at your dream and it materializes it's one of the best, this those biggest lies and i'm going to tweet that one of the biggest lies in the world today, in the age today, in the generation today, is thinking that you can throw tech at your dream and it just voila materializes. Nah, it needs patience, it needs time. Learn to be patient with your dreams. And if you take that approach, it spreads the pressure across the, the years. Right? It's the detachment that I'm talking about also. And therefore, you 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 are now comfortable in continuing with the dream because you know. It's not going to come out this year. It's not going to come out this month. You know. So you give it the time and you give it the space. However, also know that the fruition of your dream needs to have some level of urgency with it. So it's a paradox. You juxtapose the urgency and the time frame of fruition. You are urgent, but it doesn't mean you are lazy. When we say that you're patient, it doesn't mean you're lazy. You're patient, but you're also urgent. Like God. God is urgent. And he's also patient at the same time. Let me close this series by saying this, that dreaming is a very important aspect of our lives. Let us learn how to, how to do it dearly. Let us learn how to hold dear to it and let us do it so ever so often. Let us be always dreamers, always thinkers, always people who work through dreams and work through strategies. Let us learn to break the barrier of impossibilities when dreaming. And let us keep going. That's why I shared these things with you. So I do believe that uh, this is making sense to you. And if it actually is making sense to you, do me a favor. Please share it with as many people as you can in your circles. Your brother, your sister, your friends, your loved ones. And let them know. Teach them to dream. Share it with your employees and sit down and dream together. And break this impossibility barrier. Supply them in your strategic plans for the year. I wish you all the best and all the success that you're willing to work for. Until tomorrow when we are talking about another topic. This topic we're going to talk about tomorrow is about productivity. Stay tuned and bye-bye. <laughs> 
Thank you for listening to Life Signatures Radio. If you enjoyed today's show, subscribe to Life Signatures Radio on iTunes, Stitcher, or visit our website at lifesignatures.libsyn.com. Life Signatures Radio, fresh, clean, and inspiring.